Hello everyone, in this video I am going to discuss NFA to DFA conversion actually using um, subset construction method. So then why we should go for this conversion from NFA to DFA because both are falling under finite automata only. So why should we go for uh, this conversion from NFA to DFA. So to prove that um, like DFA, NFA and DFA are equivalent, we are just going for this method. So every language that can be described by some NFA can also be described by some DFA also. So to prove that both are equivalent, NFA and DFA are equivalent, we are just going for this conversion. So to convert this, there are two different methods there, one is subset construction method, another one is lazy evaluation method. So in this video, we are, we are just, I am just going to discuss, I am just going to explain only the subset construction method and this is the given example. So I have taken this example NFA diagram, I am just going to to convert this NFA diagram to the DFA diagram. So we are just going to make an equivalent DFA diagram for this NFA diagram, right? So this is the given example. I am just going to make a transition table for this diagram actually. So totally used states are 3, Q0, Q1 and Q2 and the input symbols are only 0 and 1. So I am just going to write a transition for each and every state with input symbol 0 and 1. So if you take Q0, Q0 with input symbol 0, it is going to Q0 only. So, Q0. If you take Q0 with input symbol 1, Q0 with input symbol 1, it is going to Q0. Again, it is going to Q1 also with input symbol 1. So, with input symbol 1 from the Q0, it is going to Q0 itself as well as it is going to the state Q1 also. Now, next Q1. Q1 with input symbol 0. Actually, it is not going anywhere with input symbol 0, so it is null. Then again, Q1 with input, sorry, Q, Q1 with input symbol 0, it is going to the state Q, <coughs> Q. Q1 with input symbol 1 also, it is going to the state Q2. Q2 with input symbol 0, not going anywhere, so it is null. Q2 with input symbol 1, it is null because Q2 state does not have 0 transition as well as 1 transition. So, we are writing null here. So, we have made a transition table <coughs> for this NFA diagram. So, the initial uh, step here is the step 1 is going to be we are just going to generate a subset for all these states. So, because our, the method which we are using here to convert from NFA to DFA is subset construction method. So, the first step is we are just going to generate all the possible subsets here. So, always it should start from null and then q0 possible subsets we are just going to generate now q1, q2 then q0, q1 then q1, q2, q0, q3 and q0, q1, q2 these are the possible subsets which can be generated with the help of these three states. Now we have generated all the possible subsets. Now we are just going to make a transition table for all these states. So each and every subset is going to consider here as the single state. So now we are just going to make a transition table for that. So, this is a transition function symbol notation actually del, del symbol we are using here and the input symbols are zeros and ones and the states are all these subsets are going to act as a single, a single state now. Um, the first state is null, the second subset is what? Q naught and the third one is Q1, then again Q2, Q3, sorry there is no Q3, so Q1, Q0, comma, Q1, then again Q1, comma, Q2, Q0, comma, Q2, sorry here 2, then Q0, Q1, Q2. These are the all possible subsets. We are just going to make a transition table for this, right? Now, right? Fine. 
we are just going to write the transitions for all these states. So, it is null, null with 0 and null with 1, again it is going to be only null, right. So, we are just going to write null in this place. Now, q naught with input symbol 0, yes, q naught with input symbol 0, it is going to the state q naught. q naught with input symbol 1, it is going to q naught as well as q 1. Then again, q 1 with input symbol 0, it is going to the state q 2. q 1 with input symbol 1, it is going to the state again q 2 only. Then again, q 2 with input symbol 0, it is going to it is null, there is no transition, right, q 2 with 0 as well as q 2 with 1, right. Then again, q naught and q 1 again is going to act as the, this subset is going to act as a single state. I told you in the beginning, each and every subset is going to act as a single state. So, you imagine that q naught and q 1 is a single state. So, q naught and q 1 with the input symbol 0 and 1, where it is going, we are just going to write over here. So, q naught with 0, it is going. So, we have q naught and q 1 state inside the subset, inside this set. So, q naught with 0, it is going to q naught and q 1 with 0, it is going to q 2. So, we can combine both q naught transition and q 1 transition, write it here. Then again, q naught with 1 and q 1 with 1, q naught with 1, it is going to q naught and q 1, q 1 with 1, it is going to the state q 2. So, you can combine these two and write it in, in a single set, q naught, q 1 and q 2. Then again, q 1 and q 2, you just combine q 1 transition as well as q 2 transition from the initial transition table. When you combine q 1 with a 0, it is going to the state q 2, q 2 with a 0, it is null. So, only q 2 here. Same here also, q 1 with 1, it is going to the state q 2, q 2 with 1, it is not going anywhere. So, it is null, no transition, right. Then again, q naught and q 2, we are just going to combine q naught and q 2 here. So, you are just going to combine q naught and q 2. When you combine under the 0 transition, you will get only q naught. Here you will get, when you combine these two, q naught and q 1 will be getting. Then again, we have all 3 states in our set. It means all the 3 states under 0, we are going to combine as well as under 1 also, all the 3 transitions we are just going to combine and write in one single set. So, when you combine q naught q 2 null. So, q naught q 2. Again, when you combine q naught q 1 q 2 null. So, it can be written as q naught q 1 q 2, right. So, the here the next step is, the initial step here is generating the subsets, all the possible subsets and the second step is, for all these possible subsets, we are just going to make a transition table. So, with zeros and 1s, where exactly it is going with the help of 0 input symbol as well as 1 input symbol. So, like we have made a transition table also for all these states. Now, we are just going to rename all, since each and every set have more than one state here, we'll, you will get confused when you trace it out finally. Like when you make a DFA transition table, it will get confused actually, since there are many states inside a single state, single set. So, we are just going to rename all these subsets and then we are just going to frame the final DFA transition table and from that final DFA transition table, we can make a DFA diagram for this given NFA diagram. So, when you rename, you just assign A for this state, second as B, third as C, D, E, F, G and H, you just rename it. So, if pi means it is state A, we have renamed the set pi as A, we are getting pi here. So, you rename it as A A and again here we have a Q naught, we have renamed Q naught as B. Here Q naught and Q 1 there, we have re renamed Q naught and Q 1 as E. So, you write E here. Then again Q 2, we have renamed Q 2 as D. Again Q 2, so you write D. We have renamed null as A, so you write A and A. Then again Q naught and Q 2, Q naught and Q 2 is here, we have renamed it as G. So, G. Then again Q naught, Q 1 and Q 2, we have renamed it as H here. Then again Q 2, Q 2 means it is D. Q 2, then again only Q 2, Q 2 means it is D again, Q naught means B, Q naught and Q 1 means it is E, then again Q naught and Q 2, whereas here it is G and here it is H, you just rename it, the rename 
I am just going to write the transition table again with the renamed variable. So, this indicates the transition function. There are two input symbols, zeros and ones. I am just going to make a same table only with the renamed variable. I am just making it. So, here A, B, C, D, E, F, G till H we renamed actually. So, till H we are writing here and before that you see the previous table. So, there must be always the initial state as well as the final state here right. So, here the initial state is Q naught right. So, this state is going to be the initial state we are starting from the state Q naught. What is going to be the final state here? Q2. So, what are the subsets are holding the state Q2? All those subsets we are just going to mark it as the final state. Here also we have Q2, final state. Here also we have Q2, final states. It means B is the initial state, D, F, G, and H are the possible final state. We have many final states actually here. So, B, E is the initial state, and D, F, G and H are the final states, right. So, all the renamed variables we are writing here. So, A, here also A, here it is B, E, D, D, here A, A, G, H, D, D, B, E, G and H. These are the renamed transition table. So, we have renamed all the sets right with some alphabets. So, I have written the same thing again in this say, table fine. Now, we are just going to make a DFA transition table with the help of this above table right. Renamed one this is fine. We are just going to make a transition table. So, how many states we are going to have? We need to check now by tracing this table. Fine. But they definitely the input symbols are zeros and ones. Fine. So, always we are just going to start with what? The initial state only. So, here we have many states, right? So, here what we are going to do here means we are just going to eliminate, remove all the unwanted states here. So, initially you are supposed to start from only the initial state, here our initial state is B. So, B is the initial state. What are all the transitions? For B, 0 transition and 1 transition for B we are supposed to write. So, we have it. With the 0 it is going to B, with the 1 it is going to E, right? Fine. So, like it starts from the state B, B with the 0 it is going to B itself and B with 1 it is going to the state E. So, when you check B and E we are getting and E is the new state here because B already we have we have made a transition here we have explained the state B here but since E is a new state you are supposed to make a write a possible transitions for E because since E is a new state here this is the E transition here right they have mentioned so you write G and H. So, when you check G and H, both of these states are the new state here. So, again you are supposed to write the transitions for G as well as H. So, if you take G, we have B and E with a 0 and 1 transition, right? So, with a 0 it is going to the state B and with uh, E it is going to, with sorry, with a 1 it is going to the state E, right? So, when you check B and E, B yes we have the we have the transition for B already over here and E is also is not the new state because we have explained already we have written the transition for E also already over here. We, we are not getting any new state in this level for G. If you take H the possible transitions are with the 0 it is going to G and with the 1 it is going to H. So, again you write G and H right. So, if you check G, it is not a new state because already it is available over here. If you take H also, it is not a new state. Already we have made a transition, the possible transitions we have 
made we have written over here so no new state here so if you check b yes already it is here e also already here it is reachable if you check g g and h are not re reachable so we are writing the transition for g and h so when you write the tra possible transitions for g we are getting b and e both b and e are reachable why because already we have made a transition for b and e so these two are not a new state then again if you take g and h for g it's reachable only because because already we have made a transition we have written a transition for g as well as for h also we have written over here so none of the new states are available over here so we can stop till here and this table can be considered as the final dfa transition table and for this table we can make a dfa diagram now so always we are supposed to start from the initial state always our initial state is going to be the same so we are starting from the initial state that is b fine what is going to be the final state here so if you check we have b e g and h right so if you check b e g and h only g and h we have marked as the final states so here in dfa there are going to be two final states g and h sets are holding the final state so we are marking g and h are the possible final states so this is the final transition table for dfa now we are just going to make a transition uh, sorry we are just going to make a model now diagram now so totally the dfa the final dfa is holding four states b e g g is the final state as well as h is also one of the final state we are just going to mark a transition now b with zero it is going to be alone so make a self loop it is going to zero b with one it is going to the state e then again e with the zero it is going to the state g e with the one it is going to the state h then again g with the zero it is going to the state b g with the zero it is going to the state b then again g with the one it is going to the state e so g with the one it is going to the state e then again h with the zero it is going to the state g then again h with one it is going to the state one so if you check each and every state every state is having zero transition as well as one transition zero sorry one one then again if you take this state zero and one if you take this state zero and one so each and every state is having a zero transition and one transition over here according to the conditions of dfa so this is the final dfa diagram so this is how we are supposed to convert from nfa to dfa to prove that dfa and nfa is equivalent we are just going for this conversion and we have converted this using subset construction method so this is the nfa diagram for this corresponding dfa diagram we have made over here and this is the final transition table so the initial step is we are supposed to generate all the possible subsets and you make a transition table for all those possible subsets and rename all the subset after renaming all the subsets you just start tracing it out right from the initial state so always you are supposed to start from the initial state and you check whether you have reached any new state if you have reached any new state means you need you are supposed to make a transition for that new state again so since here in the first step if you take for b we are getting b and e so when you check b and e b is reachable because already it is available here e is not reachable so we are writing the transition for e for e g and h again we are getting g and h both are the new states both are not reachable because there is no transition for g and h over here so we are writing it for g and h so for g b and e already it is reachable only we have made it here the transition here again g and h also it is reachable only we have written the transition here now no new state are found here no new state is found over here so we can stop till here and we can start making the dfa model for this problem thank you